Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last video, we went ahead and created an Azure account and we connected it from our terminal uh, to the Azure account, or rather we connected to the Azure account that we created. And um, by doing that, we're able to run Terraform against our Azure uh, account and create resources up in the cloud. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, a simple Terraform script that we can write to create a VM in Azure and um, show you, you know, the process of identifying what you need to first start off writing the script and some of the components that you need um, in order to uh, run it properly. All right, let's get started. And as always, make sure you like and comment. Um, you know, you can give me feedback or if I'm doing something good, uh, let me know and I'll continue to do that. And if um, you want me to improve on something, I can do that. Make sure you, um, you know, if you know somebody trying to learn Terraform, uh, you know, forward the video to them and hopefully I can help them out as well. So <clears throat> first thing we want to do is, um, Put in the provider for Azure. So um, we want to put in Azure RM provider here. And once we do that, this allows us to connect as well as manage resources. So we'll put that at the top and most Terraforms will have that. There are uh, features here you can activate by um, going in and um, defining them there. Um, so let's see if I were to go and the best tip, tip I can give you in searching Terraform uh, documentation, if you're on the website and you use their search bar, it's not very accurate. So what I do is I go to Terraform, like for example, we can do Terraform Azure RM provider, and then it'll take you to the right doc. And even if you're trying to create like a VM, you go to Terraform, Azure VM, and it will take you to the right dock. If you do it up here, it's a hit or miss. Um, so I don't, I don't really bother using that. But anyway, um, if you want, I'll link this in the description. Um, basically, we're going to go over this. And I'm just going to go it uh, step by step and try to explain as much as I can. Um, so we have the provider. Now we should be able to connect and the terminal here will get a new terminal and make sure you're logged into Azure CLI. <clears throat> like in the last video, make sure you do Azure uh, AZ login and log into your Azure account. That way uh, you're able to run resources against your cloud. Um, so we're logged in, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and insert in the next portion here. And a lot of people will just put all the code in here. I just want to do it step by step so uh, you can follow along. And the next step is we create a resource group. Um, the resource group uh, will house the VM that we create and any other component along with that. So the <clears throat> portion of the name of the resource block here, um, let me just put in code escape vm dash dev so this name here is for your resource block so for example maybe not uh, the resource but let's say you have two vms in in your code here and you're going to use obviously the same resource block for the vm and that um e for each vm you need a unique name for the blocks um so this is for terraform to know which block is what and the VM or the resource name usually is a, um, a parameter in here. So in this case, we're going to name this code escape VM dash dev. And we'll do this in East US. And once we have done that, let's move on and we will go to uh, resource group and we'll do a virtual network so in order for your VM to be able to connect uh, and you to be able to connect you need a virtual network and this uh, will also 
be inside the same resource group um, resources in it. So we'll keep everything default and we'll just call this code ESC VM network, which is fine. And before we get a, get too far into it, each of these parameters, like I said, in the previous video, you can pass through uh, the variables or uh, the TF vars file. So for example, let's go ahead and set up a variable for um, the resource group name. So we will do variable and we'll name it re source group name. And so we'll give it the type. Um, type will be string and default will be Let's say VM one. And I just want to point this out to you. Default will be picked up from here. And if it is picked up from there, it will have whatever the default value is. But um, like I said, you can control each environment from TFR. So if it's a dev environment, you can say re source group name, the value you want is code escape dash VM. What do we put here? Dev dash dev. And we'll save that. save this, save that. So instead of having this um, hard coded here, we can pass var dash resource group name. So that way you're passing in the values, and you're not hard coding them into the uh, main document, or your code uh, portions of the documents. Um, and we'll just leave this for now. Uh, and we'll continue on. Um, we can always come back and um, parameterize everything. So once we're done here, um, so in the virtual network, uh, we want to give it a location. And the location is the uh, East US or we can give it the location coming from the resource group um, resource. So in this example, they're saying example, but we changed this name here. So we need to update that. Let's copy that and change it here. And then location is going back to the location that we put in into that resource block. And same thing for this uh, resource group name, we want to grab it from um, the resource group block. So we'll just update that here. And it will grab it from the resource block. So after that, we'll put in the next step here. We got the network, we can name it code escape internal, that's fine. And then make sure you update these here. That will go ahead and do a network interface. And we'll update the name here. We'll leave the name as test configuration one, that's fine. And then we want to pass it the subnet ID, which is already there because we didn't update the name of this. So we'll keep that we'll keep it on dynamic. And once we have the NIC in place, we will add the resource block for the actual machine. Alright, so once we have the main here, um, let's update the name. 
and we made sure we updated these here and this is correct for the vm size we'll use standard b2 ms it's two cores and a gives of memory and we will have um Ubuntu as our server, it's a Linux server, and the version is right here. Go ahead and give this tag for environment a dev tag. So what we'll do now is we will run Terraform to create the resources in Azure. But before we do that, um, the first step you want to do is Terraform init and run that. Once, once you initialize Terraform, you have to always run a plan and then an apply. So you can review what's being created, what's being deleted. Let's say it's a production environment, you're running Terraform against it. You wanna make sure that you're not um, accidentally deleting something or someone else changed something that shouldn't have been changed and Terraform will go and delete that if, if they did that. So, We'll do Terraform dash dash var. We'll do, sorry, Terraform plan dash dash var dash file. And we'll do dev. So by doing that, we're saying uh, we want you to grab the uh, parameters the variables from this file and pass it through. If you don't have any of those files, no TFRs files, and you just have a main file, you would just do Terraform plan and it'll just plan whatever's in your main file. So what we'll do in this case is we'll put out this output to a file, call it dev ans and it will start planning that out for us you'll notice that it creates a tf state file and it will create the output file that we just told it to do uh, in the previous videos i mentioned this uh, extension um, that will you'll be able to view the output as if you were viewing it in the terminal um, with the color coded everything um, so once you first click on it, you will see that it's kind of messy. It doesn't look nice. So what you do is you hit this preview button up here and it'll open it up in a nice, nicer, cleaner way. And you just come here and we can review. What I like to do is I, I go down completely and see what the plan is. So it's five to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. If I see any destroy, um, I will be reviewing the plan um, in detail. Uh, what's going on? What what is it? Um, you know, trying to destroy. Change is also a concern. You just want to make sure it's the changes that you want, and not any changes that you know we don't want to um, have it uh, affect any resources. Um, so let's see if we just review this. It's going to create the network interface. It will be created, and the VM resource group will be created here and uh, subnet the vm itself what else um and the network so terraform figures out the best uh order um that it needs these things in and it will create them for you you don't have to put them in any particular order when you're writing the code it will actually figure it out in certain cases you might uh, need to use the depend on uh, clause and that's if you're doing um you know like uh running external scripts and things like that uh through terraform so what we'll do the plan looks fine, so we'll do Terraform apply. And we still have to do var dash file. Var dash file dev like that. 
and you will actually see the same plan should show up in the terminal and it'll say uh, five to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes and hit enter. And if we did everything correctly, it should create all of our resources in the cloud. And this should run for a little bit here. We'll just wait for it. Okay, so it looks like it finished. Let's go ahead and go check our resources in the cloud. So we'll go into our browser and open up portal.azure.com. And we'll go to resource groups. And it looks like we have a resource group, the one that we created here. We have our virtual machine. We have our network. We have our NIC and the disk. And the other thing I want to point out um, is the state file. The state file is a um, record of what the Terraform has done, um, what it created, what it deleted, um, or if, if it doesn't exist, it will create it. If it does exist and you're commenting it out or removing it, it will say, I'm going to delete it. So this is what it uses to figure out what it's going to do. And these are very important. Um, when you have an environment like a prod environment and you've created it through Terraform, uh, that Terraform, uh, that environment's state file, you need to make sure you don't lose it uh, so that um, next time when you need to create resources or you need to delete resources, you, you have that. Otherwise, you, you're going to be in, in pain. Um, there are other ways to store these state files. This is just a local example. You can store it in Azure and you can call it from Terraform uh, from an Azure account or storage account. Um, I will go over that in another video. So if you like this tutorial, um, go ahead and leave a comment, um, like, and uh, let me know if you want to see me do any other type of uh, Terraform videos or anything else that you want to see. I will um, go ahead and plan for it in the future. Thanks. See you in the next video.